Okay, welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah, JJ, I uh, I had hair all the way down to my belt line um, up until about a year ago, I think. Um, unfortunately, with all the trauma that was going on with my with the ending of my my last relationship, I didn't really uh, unfortunately the. When that was all going on, it, it really sapped me of my brain power, and I really didn't have, uh, I didn't really even have the ability to maintain proper hygiene at the time, so I just shaved off all my hair. Um, like I said, it was all the way down to my belt line. So I'll, I'll eventually grow it back once I feel like I'm a little bit more attuned to being able to care for it, but I'm still kind of getting used to the place that I live in, so I'm not really sure. Um, I've shaved it off, I think, twice since I've been here. Uh, well, actually, when I first got here, I maintained a shaved head. Um, and then I've let it grow out, like, this long a couple times. Um, and then just shaved it all right off. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I definitely enjoy my long hair. Uh, it's one of the things that I'm kind of glad that I, I did, you know. But, uh, you know, I, I always had long hair when I was younger. Um... I did it for, uh, I mean, I would say I did it for reasons, but honestly, in most cases, I was just trying, kind of generally neglectful on getting it cut and just kind of got used to it being long. And uh, even more so, I got used to the reactions I'd get from people when it was long. Like the kind of people that I normally wouldn't like to talk to would not really want to talk to me because I had long hair. And the people who I found entertaining and more easygoing uh, were the people who had less of a problem with my long hair. So, to me, it was kind of a social filter after a while, you know. So, I, I really enjoyed having it. Shaved head and a beard. I had that not too long ago. Um, right before I, uh, right when I was uh, moved back, I had it. So, um, I, I had a shaved head. And, like I said, I, I can't stand having no facial hair. I have to have at least what I have now. Um... I don't like having it on my lip because I can't stand when it grows um, and gets in the way of my mouth. And I hate having to trim it regularly, which happens. So, what the hell's going on here? Everything is attitude is in the attitude. Cool. Oh, wait a second. Oh, what are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Um, come on. I'm going to fuck that up. Uh, you'll never be able to get there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to. Let's see. First up, good attitude. That just applies to life in general. Everything is in the mm -hmm. attitude. Then you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure mm -hmm. out something. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. Calm and cool attitude and more Ooh. leg power. Um, I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. So... I'm guessing I need a special skill for that then, huh? Maybe? Ooh. So yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up there. Huh. So... Interesting. And I guess I can't jump up there regularly, huh? So, well, Shitsky. That means uh, other than buying the shit that he sold, there's really nothing I can do here, huh? So I need a skill to be able to get up and um, bounce on her umbrella a little bit more. She said something about leg power. Or he, or I can't tell. They're all just kind of generic, like... Um, non-binary, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so let's uh, get out of here, I guess. And let's feed everybody. You hungry, lady? How about some poached fruit? Oh my, hee hee. You must know I really love desserts of all kind. Thanks a lot, Stella. How about a hug? It's a game, she says. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like the sheep are all ready again. Um, luckily, they don't need food, but they do need a, a nice shear. 
Dude, I love the little faces they make when I shear them. It's like the best. Okay, the little eyeball just getting all like, what's going on here? And I'm like, uh, just, just a little bit of shear. Okay. There we go again. Okay, looks like our uh, food's done. What is it? This, what are we having today? How about some coal? I mean, that's still kind of baffling to me. Wouldn't it be charcoal? Because, of course, coal is like something that naturally makes in the ground, and charcoal is something you make by roasting wood. Okay, is that leak done? Uh, it doesn't look done. I should probably water them, though. So I guess that's a I guess that's a matter of where I'm gonna go next now since I can't since I can't get the icebreaker I can't get up on this island. Um. Oh, are you hungry? Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Yeah, of course, dude. You can. You're welcome to something. Uh, coffee. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. And coffee filled that hole, huh? Yeah. It's really it's really cute, though. Uh, the mythology is kind of weird. I don't really get... Uh, like, it has, like, a weird, like, Japanese feel to it. But then Charon is, like, Greek mythology, right? Hey, you. You hungry? Let's eat. Uh, mushroom salad? Yeah, good. You'll eat anything, won't you? You're like a garbage disposal. And, of course, my service always comes with a hug. And then you can just get the hell out of my way. So, where are we going next? So, what's this little line here? Um... Oh, I got a uh, new place there, which I can't get to without the icebreaker, of course. Um, what is this? I really want to see what that is. But I got this place here first. So let's go to Resuntino Meadows. Did I forget to give the fucking uh, frog a goddamn pork chop again? Donde esta Chilitos de Puerco? No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, you basically pretty much explain the intro scene to the game, really. So, I'm. it's not really a spoiler at all. I don't think, anyway. So, one of the other guys that comes in here all the time was uh, asking if the game had a plot, because, really, I mean... I'm not doing all that much. I'm just going around fishing and collecting resources. Come on in! Oh, yes! Oh, yes, oh, yes. What are you? Oh, God damn it! So, the stuff that comes in is treasure. The stuff that's in the treasure portion of my inventory. That's the only thing that I ever really, like, sell all of. Because, uh... Because it even says in the description that it should be sold. Like the shoes, you know? The plot is the nothingness. There you go. It is kind of relaxing, and I love watching the little kitty cat play with this ball. He's definitely a lot more well-behaved than my cats. I've had to, I don't know if you've been following the plot lately, but I had to put a webcam on my, uh, on my kitchen counter to keep my cats off of it, and I've been enjoying, uh, cat hair-free coffee for the last few weeks. Okay, so let's, uh, figure out what's here. Anything worthwhile? Okay. Have yet to be here. We got rice fields, is that what that is? Oh. Come here, kitty cat. Time to saw some wood. Doink. His little furry crotch though. 
can't really see it through the grass, but last time I noticed his little furry crotch, and now I just can't get over it. Oh, hey, guys. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, wow. I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for, like, a week, you can become a seagull or something. That's stupid. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. Who what gives? I should have quit my job. I shouldn't have quit my job. Well, don't quit your damn job. Not to become a seagull. Oh, brother. Stupid. Um, when the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me constant. That's gross, dude. It has seagull poop on it. Also, it's a little bit salty. Well, yeah, seagull poop is salty. Um, that's stupid. You guys are stupid. Okay. Hey, Froggy. I'll be picking up some wood. Hope to do some work on these later. Well, that's cool. I'll pick up some wood, too. Everybody likes wood. Man, I, I don't like it, but I can't see the kitty's furry little crotch. Um, not that I'm obsessed with it or anything. I've only mentioned it like twice in the last five minutes. Mushrooms. Uh, what the hell? Is that all that's here? Just the seagull, the the seagull cult, and a few trees. Well, shit. I don't even want to talk to you guys. Well, what a weird little place. What? Was that a mushroom? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Okay, well, um, I guess that was kind of fun. I don't know. What else? Do I? Can I? What is this thing right here? I'm, I'm guessing that's a barrier that I can't get through until I get some sort of upgrade for my boat. So. Hmm. I guess let's take a look at this thing. A little fishy spot. So let's go here. Whoa. Some more fishing for me. Cause I love the fishing. Oh shit, what was that? It's weird how the sound freaks out when I um Oh. I don't know why I hit that. Okay, the art in this game is very ghibli esque. Like you know whoever uh drew it was a huge Ghibli fan. God damn it. Get off the counter! Get off the counter! Get off the counter! Get off the counter! God damn it. Give me a sec. Hey, x band welcome to the stream. Um, I thought I paused it. Oh, well. I guess I did not. Uh, should be next to the seal, dude. Rat, rat, rat. Yep, let's travel, bub. Okay. Guess we'll hit up the dragon while we're over here, too. 
So I'm using a, a new chat client, Xban, just in case you weren't weren't aware. And now I can like see actually see when people join and uh, leave, which is kind of nice. And that's like they use like anonymous features, like uh, like JJ uses. Oh, hey, uh, JJ, check this out. I found this out the other day. If you pull it and then like unpull it, you can make the noise over and over. So if I put on my, like my auto fire. I can make the most annoying noise in the world. Okay. Looks like lettuce it is. Boink. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, it's, it's pretty obvious that whoever drew this was a big uh, Studio Ghibli fan. Oh, get up there, dummy. It's it's absolutely adorable, dude. It isn't it? Isn't it? I thought it was. It's like the infinite grunt. Oh shit, I forgot to water. Okay. And now we're gonna go let's go ahead and get some crystals from the dragon since we're here. Might as well. And then a little bit of fishing. We should be there pretty quick, though. I like the little dragon routine. That's oh, go away, you idiot. Even the bus stop, the little bus stops, have to be like directly influenced by uh, by what spirited away, right? Yeah, here we are. Okay. It's dragon, dragon, dragon time. Come on, get your butt up here. I want to start the dragon thing. Let's see, the dragon is back. Should we help it? Uh, that's why I'm here, damn it. Come on, let's go. This is one of the cooler mini games. Oh, shit. Fucked it up. Already off to a great start. Oh, yes. Okay, next. Come on, come on. Oh, poor little dragon head. I will get your... I will get your... Your crusties off you. I will give you a crusty, a crusty free bath. Oh my God! What is this? What is this? A maze? There we go. Yep. <clears throat> oh, losing my voice. Come on. Next. Oh, here it is. Obviously missed it. Nope. We got another dragon head. Bong. I guess we're going back now. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, no, lower that hill. Lower that hill. Um, thank you. What was up with that? Next. More? More. Any more? Oh yeah, over here, huh? Oh god damn it. My chi on that's just not as good as it was uh last time I played. Oh no. What is this mess? Oh god. Oh, get up there. Get up there before it shifts again. Oh my god. Oh my god. So when it shifts, it knocks you off. Great. You suck. Oh 
Okay. What's next? Now over here? I can't see over there. For some reason, I'm on the edge of the screen. Oh, hoy, Mr. Dragon. Mind if I smack you in the head with my pickaxe? No. He's so grateful. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think you should help it. You say the same thing every time. You're very welcome, Mr. Dragon. Yeah, that one was a pain in the butt. Hey, everybody, wake up. It's, it's, uh, food time. Okay, let's get out that, and let's keep cooking it, because I'm guessing sawdust is kind of useless to save. Yeah, that one wasn't... Th those jo Whoa. Are you guys okay? Oh, they're sleeping. Probably need to grow some more corn. Here's some, here's some corn. I know you guys like the corn. Corn-fed sheep. Just in case we need to have to eat ya. I've named them all emergency food supply. Um... You okay? Corn! Um... Need food? How about, uh... Shellfish stew. No, mushroom salad. Didn't I give that to you last time? Oh no, thank you. She was getting quite hungry. Um, no hug, of course. Okay, where's everyone else? Where's the stupid frog? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I know pork chops are the way into your heart. I keep forgetting to give them to you. So here's your pork chop. What? Pork chops? Donde esta chaletos de puerco? Look at this guy. I'm just gonna sit here and bask in that for a second. Okay, that's enough. I'm so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ah, now I feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets, saffron, sumac, and even an anise. That reminds me of the uh, the Kevin Smith story when he was talking about, he was talking to one of uh, Prince's, uh, like, gophers, one of the guys who handled all of his logistics, like his major domo. And the guy was like, yeah, sometimes you, you just have to explain to Prince that there's no way that you can get a camel in Minneapolis in the middle of the winter. Um... Let's see, it was something like two o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world, a meal for everyone on both sides of the table, to calm heads and to appease stomachs. First part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig always finds everything on my list. Well, Craig sounds like a stand-up guy. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get the stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Awesome. So how about some food for you? I gave you coffee last time. So some popcorn. Not yet attuned. Okay. Some watering to do, apparently. Ooh. Oh, it's nighttime, huh? Oh, no, it's bell time. What am I talking about? It's not nighttime. Didn't I already bell? I think I already belled. The beginning of the game, I used to ring the bell like constantly, and I'm pretty sure that's what caused the little deer lady to run off. The little sexy deer lady. 
I call her the little sexy deer lady because it just sounds inappropriate. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, we were going to see about fishing in this little area here. What is this? I don't really know where the hell so el, el, where the hell else we can go. I need to check out the map a little bit better. Shoe? No necklace. <laughs> Isn't it like your sister in the game? It's really weird that everything's like anthropomorphized. Uh, uh, I didn't pronounce that right. Um, animals when um, they're all supposed to be like your relatives and shit. Like. The frog dude is your uncle. It's like, what's up with that? So in the afterlife, do you come become these weird animal creatures? I don't get that. As a matter of fact, the mythology in this game is just generally inconsistent. Because again, Greek mythology, a lot of Japanese stuff. What the hell just happened? Those eclipses really freak me out. Oh, God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Come on, come on. Oh, shush. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do we got here? Whatever it is, it's a fighter. It's a fighter. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. It's too fi it's too much of a fighter. It's too much of a fighter. I guess I got to wear it down. I got to wear it down. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it is kind of like a weird mishmash of its own mythology. I kind of think of it as like uh, one of my favorite authors, Robert Heinlein, had a... Oh, God damn it. Uh, Robert Heinlein had a, a theory um, that he uh, put forth in one of his books, and that's the world is a myth, which basically says that... Any story that we think of... Oh, God, Jesus, dude. Any story that humans think of is a reality somewhere else. So even in even in that reality somewhere else where it's uh, the mythology of somewhere else, um, they also have their own mythologies that are reality somewhere else. Okay, let's see if we can manage this. I don't think we can. We're already not doing well. Jesus, dude. Are you kidding me? Wow, this is like the toughest fish ever. Dude! Maybe this was a shitty place to come fishing. I can't get this guy in. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, God damn, dude. Uh, don't be quoting Smashing Pumpkins to me, boy. Um, oh, the sheeps are all ready to shear again. About the uh, food. Okay, so um, I can't catch what's here. Let's go ahead and shear these sheep's real quick. Don't give me that look. Everybody knows you like it. Everybody loves a good haircut. You get too shaggy and it just gets too itchy, you know. And I used to really love early uh, Smashing Pumpkins. I love their early stuff. Then Corrigan just got too weird for me. <laughs> yeah, I should probably uh, shy away from euphemisms like that. Okay, now what?
Now we take a break while I figure out where the hell I'm going to go. Okay, and this is Thorm with the Game Design Lexicon. If you uh, enjoy this, if you enjoy my meanderings and my silly behavior and uh, sometimes just sheer right stupid behavior, I encourage you to follow my uh, Twitch channel here. We do stream Monday through Friday, noon p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Or you can catch my shenanigans after the fact over on YouTube, where we air all these VODs after they air, usually about a week. Uh, you can give me a subscribe over there, uh, like and comment if you want to talk about games and other stuff. Oh, I'm damn stupid, dude. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, what else? Uh, derailed, derailed, derailed. YouTube, YouTube, uh, subscribe, like. If you do want to uh, talk about anything else, I do have a Discord and uh, other socials that you can catch either in my YouTube profile or my Twitch profile. Music for the day is Quarter Flash, some wonderful 80s saxophone goodness. I'll leave you with that, and I will be back shortly. <laughs> 